What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. Hogwarts Legacy's reviews are going to be out on Monday. This is something that a lot of people are looking forward to. Even though many people don't necessarily care because the reviews are not going to sway their decisions, either one way or the other, I think it is still notable that we pay very close attention to how these reviews are going to drop. There's going to be a lot of controversy regarding even the format of the reviews. Already, you're going to see a lot of self-righteous declarations of this game is a good game, but maker of Harry Potter in all its entirety bad, hence blah, 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 blah. Or you're probably going to get some level headed reviews that are able to use the sensible methodology, at least what is actually acceptable and reasonable in human, you know, existence to be able to separate the artist from the art and give the game a fair shake. Nonetheless, that's not necessarily the crux of my review. I just want to basically show here in our community what people are saying, what people are talking about surrounding the reviews for Hogwarts Legacy. So Pio here, uh, Twitter um, user or commentator or whatever. I don't even know. Are they even a YouTuber? They might be. OK, whatever. They post a thread here saying, well, it made a post here on Twitter, not a thread for per se. Hogwarts Legacy reviews are coming out on Monday. What's your Metacritic prediction? Now, <laughs> this is interesting because we have, you know, a lot of replies, but let's go ahead and see what the replies are saying. So Pio themselves, it says, I'm going with the classic 88. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Amir Bass says, it's weird to have a game with such a wide range of score expectations. If Hogwarts gets nines, no one will be surprised. If Hogwarts gets sixes, no one will be surprised. That's a weird response. I don't know. I'm not here to argue with anybody's um, whatever. I'll, ju I'll just react to it and then we'll move on. And then there are uh, ads everywhere. Not interested in this ad, Elon. Um, yeah, people saying low and high. Insane. Uh, 86 is my prediction. I've seen a lot of positive impressions from people who got the game early. Some, you know, some are saying it does really look good. Um, Colin, a.k.a. Ghost Panda, says 200 out of 100. You're a fan. That's mostly what we're going to be seeing. A lot of fans are excited to play the game. Very bold. 85 to a 90. Um, somebody said, what if you had to put a single score? I would say maybe 8.5 to 9, pretty much. 88. Some people are saying, you know, same here. Um, <laughs> Central Scrutinizer post Mourinho and said, I'd prefer not to speak. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. This is one of the memes that you got to love. If you're a soccer fan, you can definitely appreciate this. Amir Bass comes back to saying the 77. I don't know why, but hey. Like I said, is it what it is what it is? Uh, Steph, uh, Stefan here, I guess that's how you say it, says, I think the controversy is going to affect its scores negatively, which sucks. I uh, said that in the beginning of the video, so that's probably what people are perceiving. Talabello says, 60, review bomb by every woke game review site, but the user score will be in the 90s. <laughs> that is one heck of a prediction. All right, let's keep going. I doubt the hate for Rowling will affect the score of the game. It's hard that's the problem, not the game. Um, so they're not the type uh, to review bomb like certain folks i admit i still don't feel right getting the game but no hate for anyone that does it looks good why do you have to feel weird getting the game whatever i mean 81 nothing they showed talked about is far so far has wowed me but i think avalanche is super talented studio and they'll at the very least make a pretty good enjoyable game with a good foundation to build for later games because this would be like selling billions of copies um, Ian Fish says 70s or low 80s. Wow, this is surprising. I thought you'd be getting the 90 somethings, the hundred, almost the 100s. But it's interesting. Someone says hard to tell. From what I hear, I guess I guess he has some Ubisoft open world formula problems. Hmm. All right. Someone said I don't think games media will be fair to this game. I think it'll be review bombed. I'm predicting the score to be in the 70s because of the hatred of rolling and critics not giving it a fair shake. I think the sentiment that I shared immediately I started this video is obvious in this particular line of reasoning from all the people that you're seeing comments so far. This is definitely something that I sensed would happen and a lot of us here in the community already sense is going to happen regarding the way things are currently. But at the end of the day, it goes back to how you as the gamer are going to interact with this particular title. You see, one thing about reviews is their opinions at the end of the day. You will have your own opinions when you finally eventually play the game. For me, I know the game is going to have a lot of those different things that some people find concerning because that's actually a 
in my mind, a, a sensible way to make a game with, pro, you know, um, progression and interactivity, unless you want to change the formula drastically, um, you know, or go the Elden Ring route, you're more than likely going to be pigeonholed into the same or similar methodologies that have been used to make video games. But I'll talk about that in different, uh, you know, in a, in a different video. This is more of a review score, um, I would say, quick um, overview, meta-analysis, not even meta-analysis, not even up to that depth, but just to see what people are saying overall and how people perceive that some of this game is going to pretty much get the scrutiny from people out there that it doesn't really deserve. But at the end of the day, like I've said, you get to decide how you interact with the game. And I'm sure many folk here in the community are already in that stance. They're going to interact with the game as you know as they wish, and they will give the game a score and give the game a shake, which I think is fair because they're buying the game and they're investing in it anyways. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' this time and audience. Hopefully, we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.